everybody and welcome back to my channel it's your favorite church girl if you're new here we just talk about jesus that's what we do um and if you are somebody that's returning well welcome back um i just want to say thank you to everybody i think as of today i am at like 185 subscribers and i am so astonished by what god is doing i'm so grateful to everybody who is consistently watching these videos and asking for updates because y'all be on me talking about some when this new video coming out so i just want to say thank you to everybody who is following along in this journey and so i want to get into how to stay consistent with the lord and my morning routine let's get into it first thing is first i want to address that i am a mom Hello, like I have a seven year old and I am a wife and my morning routine, listen, I'm about to be 100% honest with you guys. I do not have a consistent morning routine. <laughs> I just go with the flow and I have learned not to be hard on myself when it comes to having a morning routine because things are different every day. Just in a week, so many things can change. My child could be sick. Um, I might have a morning meeting at work. Um, things are just always fluctuating. So I have learned to have more of a routine based off what I want to get done before I go about my day versus like an actual time frame. So let me share my morning routine with you. Here's my morning routine. I wake up and I depend on the Holy Spirit. That's my morning routine. And I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, I literally wake up and I say, Holy Spirit, I need your help today. Like, before I my before my feet even touch the floor, I'm like, Holy Spirit, I, I just need you. Like, I can't do this without you. So please just help me. But to build a strong morning routine, like, I'm not. I'm, I know I'm like, <laughs> I know you're like, no way. Like, really give me some tips. But really... To build a good morning routine, you have to have at least 30 to 45 minutes of uninterrupted time. And I know that as a mom, that can be so, so difficult. So here are some tips on how to build a really good morning routine that can be helpful if you have kids, if you don't, if you're married, if you're not. These are just the basics, like 100% the basics. First things first is that you're going to want to need at least an hour to 45 minutes of un uninterrupted time. If you cannot take out an hour, at least at minimum 30 minutes. And I'm talking about uninterrupted time, which means that is time outside of you getting yourself ready. So first thing is first is have that time with the Lord first thing in the morning. Second thing is if you are not able to have that time, let's say you only have like 15 minutes outside of everything whether you slept late or whatever the case is, um, get turn on your audio Bible app like right away. If you know that you yourself cannot sit down and read the Bible, get an audio Bible, play the audio Bible, okay? After you play your audio Bible, turn on some worship music and just worship the Lord first thing in the morning. It's going to change your mood entirely. Just trust me. The last thing you want to do is as you are getting you and your family ready, pray at that time, right? After you've had your uninterrupted time with the Lord, pray at the same moment that you're getting your family ready. When you're getting your children ready, you're getting their clothes on. Holy Spirit, I pray over my child. I ask that you bless them, that you keep them, all those things, because they themselves are getting out the house too, if they are. You know, if you homeschool, that's different, but even still, you need to pray over your family. So those are some basics, right? But one thing I do really want to say is that you have to dedicate your mornings to the Lord because your day will fluctuate so much. Like you might wake up in a good mood and by the time it's 10 o'clock in the morning, you're already in a bad mood. Something's happened, whether it be work, whether it be your spouse, whether it be your children, things change. There has been times where I'm the morning has went perfect. I'm sitting down. I'm finally sitting down about to do Let's say I'm about to cook and I get a call from the school that I need to pick up my son. I get a call from my mom that something happened to a member of the church or anything like anything can happen. So when you dedicate the mornings to the Holy Spirit, you literally have time to prep yourself for whatever the day has. And it's very important. One other and last tip that I want to give is that Bible study in the morning, although it's 100% recommended, but if you're not able to like really sit down and study your Bible, 
read a psalms i know you guys know my method already psalms in the morning proverbs at night or proverbs in the morning or psalms at night i will stick by that method forever read a psalms in the morning or read a proverbs in the morning because it's something you can quick grab read it and meditate on it all day so those are some tips to build a good morning routine now let's get into how to stay consistent in your walk right because i feel like out of everything that's something that we really want to do is stay consistent in our walk with the Lord. So I have three tips for you that I want to share with you. Let's get into it. The first tip that I'm going to give you to stay consistent in your walk with the Lord. Listen to me and listen to me very clearly, okay? And I say this with so much love. Do not depend on your feelings to be consistent with the Lord. Do not wait for you yourself to feel like doing something godly because nine times out of 10, you're not going to want to. If you have the option to sit down and study your Bible and sit down and watch your show, you're going to watch your show. If you have the option to wake up early or sleep in, you are going to sleep in. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is do not depend on your feelings when it comes to the walk that you are so seriously taking. If you depend on your feelings, there's gonna come a moment where you're gonna feel like God is distant and really he's right next to you. There is gonna come a time where you're going to feel like the Lord has abandoned you, all these things, and the only thing that is going to keep you is the promises of the word of God. So do not depend on your feelings, okay? The second thing I'm going to say is that your consistency is going to look different every day, which means one day you might be able to dedicate two hours to the Lord. Glory to God. But there might be days where you're only going to be able to give 30 minutes, 45 minutes. That does not mean that the Lord is disappointed in you because you were able to do it more in one day than the other consistency is going to look different every day there's times where you're going to have the strength to read an entire book in a day and there's times where you're just going to be able to meditate on one verse and that'll be enough so your consistency is always going to look different every day the good the most important thing is that you show up every day even if the energy is different every day show up every single day and the last thing and the last tip i want to give you today is to depend on the Lord to give you the strength to stay consistent. Don't depend on your own strength because there's going to be times where you're going to enter the presence of God with no strength and he will be the one to build up your strength. So don't depend on yourself in order to have the strength to do his will because he's the one that wants to give you the strength. The Bible says that the joy of the Lord is your strength and he delights and you wanting to be with him. So those are all the tips that I have for you guys today. <laughs> I know that there's so much more that I want to get into, but that's all I want to give you today. Starting February, I am praying to God that I can start. I had presented a series to the Lord that I'm praying that I can give. And um, it is going to be based off of some in-depth Bible studies that I want to be doing. But as always, I just want to thank all of you for reaching out. Thank you all for being consistent in my channel. That means the world to me. And more than anything, I just want to continue to encourage you to keep seeking the Lord. Keep seeking the Lord. Do not be discouraged by anybody or anything because the Lord is delighting in you. The Lord is not mad at you. The Lord is not disappointed. He's not any of those things. He is so excited that you as his child are seeking his presence in the best way that you can. But hopefully these tips will help you to both build a good morning routine and stay consistent in your word. So God bless you all. I will see you next time.